YouTube, SneakerTube.tv, Greg, back with uh, two new pickups, a Nike ID, and the Jordan Cement 3s, t-shirt from InsideTheSneakerBox.com, shout out to SneakerBox Clyde, appreciate it bro, nice t-shirt, but in my opinion, Boxhead Tees is still my, they're still my guys man, I'm all in with those boys, wait till you see their, uh, their, their t-shirt, ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do a review on the cements. I just want to show you my IDs. I'm really excited to show you guys these. Uh, I think you'll like them a lot. And uh, we got a Zoom ado. Kobe 5 Nike ID. Just got these in today. I think I ordered them on like January 2nd, I think. January 3rd. Um, after seeing how this one came out, uh, I'm just going to keep making IDs, man. Like. <laughs> came out as nice as possible. It was quicker than I thought it would be. It was only like two, three weeks, three weeks. Um, just really nice, man, overall. Comes with some pretty cool paper. And without further ado, let's get in this shoe. This is Zoom Kobe 5. And and after seeing how these came out, it's just uh, it's a wrap. I'm, just starting to make Nike IDs from now on. Make my own line of sneakers and maybe sell them. And uh, a lot of people have names for their IDs. You know, they it's inspired by something. Well, these were inspired by the hardwood classic LeBrons that I can never seem to get my hands on because Nike never releases them. Got the little G there on the back of the foxing. All my friends call me G. It's my nickname. Obviously because my name is Greg. Back here we got Greg. And these boys smell fresh, man. Straight out the factory. Regular Kobe 5 insole. So I did a hardwood classic color. An orange, blue, with a white, orange speckled midsole. White up on the eye stay and it's a... I kind of got the, um, the scale look on it rather than the metallic finish. And I'm doing another ID right now where the majority will be blue and there will be orange where the blue is. So basically like a, you know, like a Homer away version of this. So the next ID, this will be all white still. This will be blue and this will be orange. So basically everything will just be flip-flopped except for the white. Got an icy sole on the bottom of it. I just, this shoe just night and day better than what I thought it would be. Like I was expecting a lot, but just to see these in person, just love them. Just turned out to be a great shoe for me. So those are my Hardwood Classic Zoom Kobe 5s. And next you'll see uh, all majority blue. I hate to keep saying it, but like, this part will be blue, this part will be orange. So basically where it's orange, now it'll be blue, and then where it's blue now it'll be orange. If you guys don't understand now, you're just idiots. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we got... Um, speckled uh, outsole down the middle and then you got your icy blue tint sole your orange hit right there and I got the the Kobe pattern on the shoe I don't know if you can see you can kind of see it reflecting a little bit I got the Kobe pattern the Kobe numbers pattern I should say I'm just real happy with these Came out real good, in my opinion. So let's say if you guys get a chance, go make some, go make a Nike ID. I don't know how long they're gonna let you ID them because the Kobe sixes. I'm definitely feeling the Kobe fives over the Kobe sixes as of right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, be on the lookout for Aston Martin pack. Raging Bull Pack, and the Royal Foam Posits. Alright guys, talk to you later.